I ended up meeting a gentleman that ran the weather station in the geography and geology departments, and he ran the Learn to Ski program for the disabled on Friday nights in Calgary. And when he found out that I had a racing background, he started to harass me to come out and start working with uh, his program. I actually was asked to be the assistant coach of the Alberta Disabled Ski Team. I knew very little about coaching at that point. You just started to, to learn by fire as to, okay, this is what I need to do. Gentleman Danny Adams was the, the head coach of the program and made it fun. Uh, it was fun for the athletes, he enjoyed it, and he just made it something that you wanted to be part of. And then within a, within a year, he retired and I suddenly ended up becoming head coach. I saw it as an opportunity to create a feeder system and, and make Alberta a strong province in, in that feeder process up to national team levels. We were moved under the umbrella of Alpine Canada and I was hired as head coach at that point, uh, partly because I had a business background. They wanted somebody that could help manage the transition under the uh, National Sport Organization umbrella. And I, I ended up as head coach of that program for four years. My first Paralympic Games was 2002 in Salt Lake City. So I became quite involved at the International Paralympic Committee level with the Technical Committee for Alpine Skiing from sort of 2000 7 to 11, I helped create the, the Alpine Para Pathway. And uh, in 2009, was asked to become head coach of the Para Athletics team uh, for Canada. I ended up moving to work with equestrians. So I ended up as a performance advisor with the uh, Canadian Para Equestrian team, going to the London Games. And shortly after London, I was uh, asked to apply for the chef role in Sochi and was lucky enough to get that role. 2014 onwards is a generation of leadership in Paris sport that hadn't been there before. Um, and the critical thing there is it's so important that we get athletes with disabilities and people with disabilities that become the leadership group and become the next generation of mentors. So many of the people in this, in this room were the pioneers that that had to be headstrong and stubborn to create opportunities when there were no opportunities. And I think that's the learnings that I had as some of the, the people that mentored me were the, the early coaches, the Gary Akins and the Butch Boutries and the Jerry Johnsons and the, the Alpine disabled community. Uh, every single person has something unique to offer. And I think it's recognizing in every person that they have something unique to bring to the table that whether they're an athlete, whether they're a coach, whether, regardless how they're engaged in sport, it's worth giving them the time and listening to what you can learn from them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame, 2024 inductee, Ozzie Sawicki.